drink like a royal like this? Do people actually do that or is that nonsense? <laughs> how are you doing and welcome to a new video so this weekend I am in Windsor yesterday I took the train from Waterloo station all the way to Windsor and Eaton Riverside and that's where I met Taylor we went out and had a drink and then we had a really lovely dinner we're at the Royal Windsor we have a very special cocktail which I'm very excited about it's called the Royal Windsor Rhubarb and Blackberry Gin. Comment below with your favourite cocktail. This is my dream come true, I'm not gonna lie. You guys know how much I love everything British. It doesn't get more British than this. I almost wish that it was winter, just because it feels like so cozy. It's really, really delicious. Taylor, how's your salad? It's really good. <laughs> We have no other descriptive words other than it's really good. <laughs> and today we woke up bright and early to explore the hotel that we're staying in a little bit. It's called the Beaumont Estate and it's pretty beautiful. Here's a bit of an overview of what it looks like. And right now we're ready and excited to go to Windsor Castle and explore the Round Tower. It's only open for two months a year in August and September. And we're one of the first people to get to visit it this year. Come with me, I'll show you. The train just left the here we are, let's go! It's such a rainy day today, I really hope the weather holds up. But if it doesn't, this is England. <laughs> okay, here we are guys, we're walking up to the tower. I'm honestly so excited. I didn't think I would be, but right now the real fan of British culture comes through in me. <laughs> So yeah, let's see how it's gonna be. So this gate over there is St. George's Gate and it is a very important gate here in the castle because it is where kings and queens and really famous people from around the world enter the castle. How do you drink like a royal, like this? Do people actually do that or is that nonsense? Now the history of Windsor Castle goes back over 900 years, making it the oldest and the largest occupied castle in the whole world. Just getting ready to go up the tower, the rules are quite strict, no backpacks, no umbrellas. <laughs> I'm lucky that we're allowed to take cameras, but everything else has to stay down here. <laughs> Here we are walking up the 200 steps to the top of the round tower. Two bits of history for you. So uh, the original purpose of the tower was for it to be a safe house basically so people could come here and hide <laughs> when there was war going on and also originally it was only half as high and then King George IV who was a very flamboyant and extravagant <laughs> king said it's too small, let's build a double as high. <laughs> so now basically it overlooks the whole of Windsor. We're gonna have a bit of a view of that later as well. Oh God, I have to be careful actually, because behind me is where the Queen's living room is, behind this wall, and I am obviously not allowed to film it. So you can see the top of you know the area where she lives up there. It looks beautiful, I can only describe it to you. It's gorgeous. Um, come here and see it yourself. Okay guys, have a look at this. This is St. George's Chapel and who of you remembers Prince Harry and Meghan Markle getting married there? Comment below now if you watched the wedding and what you thought. I obviously cried my eyes out. <laughs> We finished the tour of the tower and we've just come to sit down in our little royal tea room here. Everything today is royal. <laughs> and these are cupcakes made in Buckingham Palace by the royal pastry chef and his award-winning pastry team. I mean, expectations are very high. Okay, so as most of you know, I'm not actually a sweet tooth, so I'm probably a good critic. 
for this. It's definitely moist. It's not dry. It's definitely a sweet treat. But because it's so spongy and moist, it's something that I genuinely enjoy. It's something I could only eat one of, but you're probably only supposed to eat one. Here is to the most royal cupcake I have ever eaten. And for the final part of our Windsor weekend, we are currently on a boat and we're gonna have a 40 minute boat ride. There's lots and lots of royal swans around, so the royal theme continues. I'm excited to show you. Winters, but most times it feels like nothing. I've just learned two interesting facts. One of them I actually always thought was a rumor, but I wasn't sure if it's 100% true, but it is. So all swans in the United Kingdom belong to the Queen. Did you know that? Comment below. And also, obviously, this is a part of the Thames that we're on right now. And if we wanted to go to London, it would take us exactly 12 hours by boat. I don't think it's pretty long. I did not expect this. But I assume it's obviously boats aren't very fast and also the river is very windy. So it takes you a lot of back and forth to get to London. So what I can see in front of me right now is Eton College. I've tried to film it. I can't really because it's too far away. You can just see about kind of like the top of the towers. Eton is a very, very, very good school for boys. You might know it. <laughs> So I've never actually visited it. Maybe it could be a, another video. If you're interested in watching more similar videos like this one or travel, there's lots of links in the cards right now and all the links for how to get tickets to Windsor Castle are below. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you very soon.